Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu, I'm a SaaS trainer and programmer. In this video, I'm going to explain SaaS Certified Specialist practice question number 10. I have already covered few videos earlier with the different questions. So I'm just attaching it here. So please go through. And if you are new to my channel, be subscribe. And if you have any uh, questions or comments, please write it in the comment section. So let's get started. In this question number 10, we need to take the input data set as a SAS help dot class. Based on that, we need to write a program to create a new data set as a work dot test. And we need to do the following tasks. So there are three tasks which is uh, need to be created. So that is your created two new variables, weight as a V1 and height as a V2. Once done, drop the height and weight and uh, from the work.test. Basically, we need to create a two new variables as a v1 and v2 from the source variables as a weight and height. And the step two, make the v1 and v2 as a integers. Okay, let it be uh, the value of the source anything, but the new variables of your v1, v2 should be an integer value. And the third step is divide the v1 by v2 and assign a new value to the v3. That's also we need it as an integer. So we need to divide v1 by v2 and we need to get a v3 as a integer value. So now the question one is how many variables in the data set of work.test? What is the value for the observation number 12 for the v3 variable? What will be the total of V3 variable when sex is female with age about 12? So we need to answer these three questions apart for, uh, according to your task. So you also try with me and take a pause of this particular video and try to do the same. So for that, first of all, what I'll do is let me just open my SAS studio. And here is a software. So according to the PowerPoint presentation, we need to create a new data set as a test. I'm writing it here and semicolon. Then I need to take that input as a uh, set. I'm writing it from SAS help library with the name of class data set. We need to take it then. So in my SAS help, uh, uh, there are uh, uh, many variables. So in that, what we want it is we need to cre create a V1 as a, a variable. And so this variable value, we need to get it. What is that value according to this V1 as a weight variable as a V1. So I'm writing it weight. So here I'm writing it. So W weight, I'm writing it here as a V1 and W2 that is your uh, V2 is a variable. I'm just writing it here height semicolon and run. So what we want it is, we want this particular values as a integer values. So according to the presentation. So I'm writing it a function called int so that no, I'll get the integer values. And even this values also, I want it a integer values because uh, let me just show you that also, how the values is generally. I'm writing it int. So before running of my program, you see in the library, SAS help uh, library, class data set, uh, you just see here. So in the class data set there, you can see that uh, name, sex, age, height, uh, height is uh, with the decimal values and weight also decimal values at somewhere. But I'm not interested to have my decimal values. I need an integer values. So I'm writing V1 as a uh, integer value, V2 as an integer value. I'm writing it. Uh, and we don't want this variable anymore. So we are just dropping that. So we don't want it, uh, this height and weight variables. We don't want it. Uh, so I'm just uh, dropping those. So once you create it, uh, the data set it just got created. Check that. Is there any errors? So log seems um yes there is an error i had didn't mention the space you see that set sas help and all we need to maintain the space so that's done and 
execute it and done go to log is there any errors i think there is no errors go to your code oh, sorry go to your powerpoint presentation what is the next one so we just created v1 and v2 and we dropped the height and weight variable from the test and we created a v1 v2 as an integer value we need to divide a v1 by v2 so we need to create a one more variable as a v3 i'm just writing it here v3 equal to the value should be v1 variable is divided by with v2 so now you will get it some value even that values also we don't want it as a uh, decimals or anything i want it as a integer value for this also i'm just writing it int so we are done now we execute it i think we are done check your log so there is no errors and go to your data set okay go to your data set so here in the work library test is a new data set is created so in this we want it what we want it according to this question um the first question is how many variables in work dot test how many variables right now actually we need to get it that by looking into the log around six variables we have it in the data set of your um of your test so six variables you will get it plus and that's an answer so you will get it uh, the variables number of variables is six you will get it uh, and what is the value of observation 12 for the variable v3 so we want to get it what is the value so here what is the value for in the work dot test uh, observation 12 what is the value for your v3 variable so for time being what i'll do is i'll select only these three columns so that no it will be easy for me so that i'm just keeping it here and v3 so on the 12th observation i think somewhere here it is your 12th observation okay so you're writing it 12th observation uh, the v3 value is one so is the answer so here you will get the number of variables is six variables and uh, uh, the value for this particular answer is going to be one and what will be the total of v3 where uh, variable uh, when sale uh, sexy is female and age about 12 so to get that what i can do is i'll just go to my sas and i'm just closing it i'm writing it proc means it's a procedure print means i'm telling sas to print it and uh, i'm writing it here a run statement so here what i want it is we want it where sex equal to females so i'm just writing it f because the data is in the f and is greater than 12 i want it i'm writing it here then followed by we need a sum of your v3 and now you run it only this piece of code is enough to execute it now you can see and you got it the sum of your v3 is going to be six you will get it so the total all the females with the age 12 above you have around uh, the v3 sum is going to be six so the output you will get as a just uh, let me just show you the, all the answers uh, so this is an answers how many variables in the data set is going to be six uh, how many observations uh, with uh, uh, the number uh, observation number 12 with variable 3 the value is 1 and uh, so the age above uh, 12 people with uh, sex equal to female v3 sum the total is going to be six you will get it so this is the three answers uh, right answers so you do the same and you try getting the same answers or you are getting any different answer if you are getting a different answer so you can just open a discussion so why you are getting as six or why i'm getting five or something like that you can check and so please go through my description portion of this particular video i'm just attaching it uh, uh, all this so question over there and the description portion so that you can have copy paste of this particular program and all so that's it that's all about for this question 
So please subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon for more interesting updates in upcoming days. Thank you for watching. I'll meet you in the next video.